Um, so let's uh, transition now to our final formal section before we go into a Q&A, which is about the future of AI. And would love for you to talk about what is the future of AI for Microsoft uh, and what is the future of AI according to Sri Ram Ganapathy? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so let's uh, answer that together. Um, so basically, um, in, and, and I'm going to start with like the context of, you know, like these sorts of generative AI capabilities that we are seeing first, and then talk about like a bigger picture in terms of AI in general. So in terms of generative AI, the focus has been around generating content, which is primarily around text. So it's, uh, you know, the singular modality of generating text sort of content. But as we are working with OpenAI, and a lot of the research is about how do you make this multimodal so that you can also have video, audio, and you're already seeing images uh, starting to come into play, all of these different multimodalities so that you have this large single foundational model that can answer questions no matter what the uh, input uh, content type is, and then be able to generate those um, output classes as well. So that's sort of like you know the, the innovation or the roadmap in terms of how we are going to think about these generative AI technologies, um, and then more and more focus on these foundational models, because the foundational models can, um, you know, because it's got so much data in it, can do a variety of tasks. So today we're still talking about individual AI services for a lot of individual things, and that's still going to be applicable because it may be less expensive. But with the foundational model, you all of a sudden get, get this uh, multi task uh, scenario capability that with just one API, you can do a variety of tasks. So that's sort of like in the generative AI space. Overall, in bigger picture AI, I mean, as we are getting closer to artificial general intelligence, AGI, um, you know, you're going to see large language models as sort of like the foundation for what we are going to do there. But, you know, there's a lot more, um, you know, innovation that needs to happen uh, with, you know, compute capacity uh, limitations that we have, you know, that needs to be solved for us to be able to get to that next general step. But AGI, artificial intelligence is sort of like, you know, where I think we are driving towards uh, based on a lot of these different um, innovation that's coming from many companies, right? Whether it's Microsoft, whether it's Google and all of those other organizations out there. Yeah, I, I think I saw a news report that one of the founders of OpenAI, the, the CEO said that he is looking to raise $100 billion to get to uh, uh, general AI. And if you think about what having general AI would mean for our economy and for our world, $100 billion is nothing. It is a kind of a drop in the bucket. So given that we're really just, you know, a few billion dollars away from that, uh, do you have any predictions on uh, when we will get to general AI and how the world might, a business might look different? It's a great question. I don't know if I have a crystal ball to uh, predict, um, you know, because of a lot of the other considerations around capacity that needs to be solved for, right? There is a lot of innovation happening on the hardware side because to power this sort of technology, while money is important, there are resource considerations. There is also the whole conversation about carbon footprint that some of these could you know, potentially have a negative impact. So lots of considerations that if you have to balance before we get there, there's government regulations to think about. So because of all of those different, I don't wanna say bottlenecks, but variables in the equation, I really don't know if, you know, if we are gonna get there um, soon enough, but uh, again, you know, we never saw what ChatGPT could have done a year ago. And here we are, you know, talking about uh, generative AI. So uh, these things happen really, really fast. So I don't have like, you know, any way to predict this. 